Hi everyone, in today's session we are going to be discussing the topic clocks. So first we will discuss the basics from this topic clocks and then we will move on to solving questions from this topic. Coming to the types of questions that you can expect from the topic clocks, there are mainly three types of questions that appear in exams. The first type involves finding out the angle between the hands of the clock. For example, is given the time is 420. What is the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand? So this is the first type of questions that come from this topic. The second type involves questions wherein you are given the angle and you are asked to find out the respective time. Like for example, between 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock, at what time is the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand 30 degrees? This is the second type of questions that generally come. Now, the third type of question involves clocks which gain or loses time. So before we move on to these types, let us first discuss a few basics that you need to know from this topic and then we will start solving the questions from each of these type. I hope all of you know how we represent time. Time is represented in terms of hours, minutes and seconds. So 60 seconds make up 1 minute, 60 minutes make up 1 hour and there are 24 hours in a day. So let me share my screen first. We all know that a clock has two major hands, the hour hand and the minute hand. Now what does the hour hand do? The hour hand indicates time in terms of hours and the minute hand indicates time in terms of minutes. Like for example, the time shown in the clock here right now is 3, 5, correct? See the hour hand, the smaller hand is the hour hand, it represents the hours and the bigger hand is the minute hand and it represents minutes. We can say that a clock is divided into 60 equal parts or we can say that the phase or the dial of a clock is divided into 60 equal parts called as minute spaces. Okay, That is the circumference of a clock is divided into 60 equal parts called as minute spaces. In one hour's time, if you look at the minute hand, what does the minute hand do? The minute hand will start from 12, then it will complete one full circle and come back to 12. Or I can say that in one hour's time, the minute hand covers 60 minute spaces. Now, in the same one hour, the hour hand will cover how many minute spaces? It will cover only 5 minute spaces. Like for example, if the time is 1 o'clock and then it is going to become 2 o'clock, how much distance will the hour hand cover? See, it covers from here till here. That's all, right? See, this full clock has how many markings? 12 markings, which are equally spaced. And we just said that this full circumference of the clock can be considered as 60 minute spaces. So this distance is how many minute spaces? 60 divided by 12 that is 5 minute spaces. So I can say that in one hour the hour hand will cover 5 minute spaces. So this is one way to look at it. The other way to look at it is by considering the angle in the clock. Now if you consider a clock the full circumference of the clock is equal to 360 degrees or I can say that in one hour the minute hand is covering 360 degrees that is it is completing one fun full rotation it is starting from 12 and getting back to 12 so it is completing one full rotation or it is covering 360 degree in the same time what is the distance covered by the hour hand the hour hand would have covered only like for example if the time is from 1 to 2 the hour hand is covering so much distance or that is nothing but 360 divided by 12 which is equal to 30 degrees. So in one hour's time when the minute hand covers 360 degrees the hour hand is covering only 30 degrees. So that is what I have just written down here. See in one hour the minute hand covers 360 degree or 60 minute spaces. In one hour the hour hand covers 30 degree or 5 minute spaces. And we can also say that in one hour or that is in 60 minutes, the minute hand gains 55 minute spaces over the hour hand. Or we can say that the minute hand moves 12 times as fast as the hour hand. Or I can say that the minute hand is 12 times faster than the hour hand. See these concepts will be very useful for us when we are solving questions from this topic clocks. The next thing that you need to know is that 
in every hour both the hands of the clock coincide once like for example if the time is 2 o'clock okay from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock how many times will the hour hand and the minute hand coincide they will coincide once that is somewhere around 2 10 right somewhere around this time both the hour hand and the minute hand will coincide that is when the minute hand moves towards here it overlaps with the hour hand and this happens once before it becomes 3 o'clock similarly if you consider any time let us say you are considering 5 o'clock okay if you are considering 5 o'clock this is going to be the minute hand and this is going to be the hour hand so the minute hand keeps moving the hour hand also keeps moving before it reaches 6 somewhere at this point the minute hand and the hour hand will coincide so we can say that in every hour both the hands of the clock coincide once similarly the hands of the clock are in straight line that is both the hands point the opposite direction once every hour or the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand is 180 degree once in every hour like if you are taking the time between 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock yes what will happen see somewhere around 345 how will the minute hand and the hour hand look so the hour hand is going to be like this the minute hand is going to be somewhere like this somewhat like this yeah somewhere close to 350 both the hands of the clock are going to be opposite to each other or this angle is going to be 180 degrees next the hands are at right angle twice in every hour so what does that mean both the hands of the clock are perpendicular to each other or the angles between the hands of the clock is 90 degree twice in every hour how do you explain that for example if i am taking the time from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock again see at 3 o'clock itself how is the hands of the clock it is perpendicular to each other now somewhere around 335 yes so the uh, our hand is going to be like this and the minute hand is going to be like this at this point also the angle is going to be 90 degree so in every hour the hands are at right angles twice and the hands are in a straight line or basically the angle between the hands is 180 degree once in every hour and both the hands of the clock coincide once in every hour that is the angle between the hands of the clock is zero degree okay now these are uh, very basic things that you need to keep in mind because sometimes questions are based on these that's why i am explaining all these concepts to you 